Hi guys, projectile motion question here, where we have a bird traveling at 20 meters a second wants to hit a waiter 10 meters below with his dropping. In order to hit the waiter, the bird must release his dropping some distance before he is directly overhead. What is the distance? Okay, so there are two factors that are going to govern the distance that the bird is going to have to be away from the waiter. First is the speed that the waiter bird is going, the faster that the bird is going in the horizontal direction, the further away he's going to have to be, and the time it takes for the poo to fall through these 10 metres. So we are given the speed of the bird, what we're not given is the time it's going to take the dropping to fall from the bird and hit the waiter's head from through a vertical distance of 10 metres. So we're going to go figure that out first, we're going to say okay, if the bird was here and hovering, what would the time take for the poo to go from here and hit the waiter on the head? So what we have is we're looking for time. So the equation that we're going to use is one of the standard equations of motion. S equals ut plus one half at squared. And we're lucky because u is equal to zero, so that's going to cancel out the front of the equation. We know that the distance, s, is going to be 10, is equal to one half a, which is 9.8, t squared. So half of 9.8 is 4.9, and then we're going to divide that by 10 and take the square root. So I hope you could follow my algebra, but t is going to be equal to the square root, the square root of 10 divided by 4.9, and that's equal to 1.429. seconds. So basically what we've found out is we've found that the dropping will take to fall 10 meters through the air it's going to take 1.429 seconds. So the distance the bird is going to have to be away because the once the dropping is released if we're not if we're ignoring air resistance which we are we the dropping will just carry the bird's horizontal velocity with it. So the dropping will be traveling horizontally at 20 meters a second and it's only its vertical velocity that changes. So what we're going to do is all we have to do then is figure out well how far is this dropping going to go in 1.429 seconds. So what we do, well, we're going to go S is equal to V which is equal to 20 times 1.429, which is equal to 28.57 meters. So you can see that this problem is not very difficult because all we had to do was the the crux of the problem was figuring out the time taken for the dropping to fall through the 10 meters. So all we have to remember is that we have a constant velocity in the with projectile motion with no wind resistance or air resistance. We have a constant velocity in the horizontal direction and we have a constant acceleration in the vertical direction. So we can find the time in the vertical direction by using this formula and then we can use the fact that the velocity is constant to find the distance. So I hope that video, that short video helped and I'll see you again next time.